After the Soyuz spacecraft leak left Russian cosmonauts stranded in space, NASA is now in discussions with SpaceX to possibly modify its Crew Dragon spacecraft. How will SpaceX pull off this incredible feat? Why is SpaceX Dragon now the best spacecraft in the world? Find out everything in today's episode of Alpha Tech. NASA is asking SpaceX to boost the existing shielding on the company's Crew Dragon capsule after something blasted a tiny hole in a Russian Soyuz spacecraft. The strike, likely by a micrometeoroid, occurred while the Soyuz was docked at the ISS where it remains today. The impact caused a coolant link that rendered the Soyuz vehicle, known as MS-22, unsafe to carry astronauts home except in case of emergency. The discussions with SpaceX are in early stages. The shield boost idea was just raised on Tuesday, January 24th at a regularly scheduled commercial crew meeting, and that's according to Steve Stitch, program manager for NASA's commercial crew program. We started to talk about it a little bit. Is there anything we can do now, he said in Wednesday's press conference, which provided an update on ISS operations and the next SpaceX mission to the station Crew-6, which is scheduled for liftoff February 26. We've designed that vehicle to have a certain amount of shielding for the environment already around critical systems like propellant tanks and other areas, said Stitch. We went into the design knowing this was one of our highest risk areas. SpaceX's Sarah Walker said the company's aligned with NASA's goals. Walker, who is director of the Dragon Mission Management, also emphasized that all analysis to date shows that the Crew Dragon, docked at the ISS now called Endurance, is doing just fine. The Dragon systems are healthy and operating nominally, Walker said, during the last press conference of Endurance, which launched to the orbiting lab this past October on the SpaceX Crew-5 mission for NASA. Besides to ensure that vehicles are safe to travel in, Crew Dragons docked with the ISS are inspected during weekly checkouts and more extensive monthly investigations. The station's robotic arm is also used to take photos and videos of crafts before undocking. SpaceX Dragon's contributions to the space industry are getting bigger and bigger day by day, and it seems the Biden administration can't ignore it. This week, Vice President Kamala Harris bestowed the Congressional Space Medal of Honor on Doug Hurley and Robert Binken. Outside of space circles, the Space Medal is not a particularly well-known honor, especially because it's not been awarded in nearly two decades. However, the medal is prestigious and often only given to astronauts who have died during spaceflight activity. Back to the current problem, Roscosmos officials say the damaged Soyuz MS-22 could accommodate two of its three crew members if an emergency necessitated the evacuation of the ISS. The ride back to Earth would be warm with no coolant, however. The two who would make that trip on MS-22 are cosmonauts Sergei Prokvev and Dmitry Patelin. The third crew member, NASA astronaut Frank Rubio, would join the four Crew-5 astronauts on Endurance in a lifeboat scenario. NASA considers numerous safety questions before approving Rubio's seat liner for a move to the Soyuz MS-22 to Endurance, agency officials said on Wednesday, including making sure there was enough oxygen in the spacecraft that carbon dioxide could be minimized and the landing would happen safely. SpaceX originally designed the Crew Dragon vehicle to carry as many as seven people, but Endurance was outfitted with only four seats, and securing Rubio as an unexpected fifth crew member would require clever repurposing of supplies in orbit. We looked at taking some cargo straps from, actually the CRS-26 vehicle, Stitch said, referring to a SpaceX Dragon cargo capsule that's docked to the ISS now. We were able to put the straps over Frank and then the seat liner, if we needed to, and then secure him to the floor of the Dragon, he said. They will figure out this cargo area might be about the right size to put a seat liner and a crew member in the area. They could actually accommodate two more crew members in this cargo pallet area if we needed to. Currently, the Crew Dragon layout has an upper deck with four seats and a lower deck with three cargo pallets. But if necessary, four crew members can sit in the upper deck and one or more spaces in the lower deck could be converted from cargo to a crew seating area. SpaceX has run the numbers and found it would be safe for the vehicle to carry an additional crew member. Dragon has plenty of margin, even with the extra crew member with respect to onboard life support, Walker said. The empty Soyuz vehicle, known as MS-23, will launch during a stretch that NASA Associate Administrator Kathy Luters called one of the busiest increments in the history of station during the press conference. 
At this point, the Energia Space Rocket Corporation, which is part of Roscosmos, has said the spacecraft Soyuz MS-23 has been checked for leaks before being sent to the ISS. At the Bachnor Cosmodrome, leak tests of the Soyuz MS-23 transport crewed spacecraft have been completed, the corporation has stated. In the coming days, checks of the propulsion system's automation equipment, onboard digital computerized system, and radio engineering systems will follow. Also, the thermal control system is to be filled with a coolant. The mission of Roscosmos cosmonauts Sergei Prokopyev and Dmitry Patelin and NASA astronaut Frank Rubio was extended due to a leak from the external radiator and the thermal control system of the Soyuz MS-22 spacecraft, and that happened around December 15th. Before the emergency, it was assumed that the MS-23 would fly to the ISS March 16th. Now it is scheduled for February 20th. Among the many scheduled crew launches to the ISS in the first half are crew flight test, the first astronaut mission for Boeing Starliner capsule, SpaceX's Crew-6, and AX-2, the second crewed mission to the orbiting lab by a private company, Axiom Space. Crew-6 will see the Dragon Endeavor fly the first United Arab Emirates astronaut on a long-duration mission, Sultan al Niyadi. The other crewmates are NASA astronaut Stephen Boeing, Warren Hoberg, and Russian cosmonaut Andrei Fedeyev. The Soyuz MS-22 crew will also see their time in space doubled to a year in orbit as they await the launch of the crewed Soyuz later in 2023 to relieve their duty on the ISS. The current forecast for MS-22's landing is late September. As for whether there could be future leaks to vehicles attached to the ISS, there does remain the threat of meteoroids, which can travel at very high speeds and could potentially strike and damage the craft that are docked. That is thought to be what caused the damage to the Soyuz radiator, but NASA says the SpaceX Crew Dragon is equipped to handle such impact. We have designed that vehicle to have a certain amount of shielding for the environment already around critical systems like the propellant tanks and other areas, said Stitch. We went into the design knowing this was one of our highest risk areas. While it's unlikely this emergency plan would be needed, officials stressed that they want to be prepared for any scenario that could happen while waiting for the replacement Soyuz to arrive at the space station. We always plan for the best and the worst sometimes, said Catherine Luters, Associate Administrator of Space Operations, Mission Directorate. And that just about wraps it up for today's episode. Don't forget, share your ideas in the comments section down below. Your support motivates us to create more quality video. And for that, we thank you so much and hope to see you next time.